Welcome back to Strength and Health for Life, where we talk about bread. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to day 83 of our weight loss journey together. Before we begin, we ask that you smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you receive all alerts, and watch the video all the way through. Also, if there are any topics you'd like to see in this channel, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Today is our final video in our series on food additives. For the last video in this series, we're going to go over potassium bromate. What's potassium bromine? Continue watching to find out. By the way, if you're looking to take back control of your income and your time and build the life that you want to live like I have, take action now and click the first link in the description to learn how. Potassium bromate contains one potassium molecule, one bromine molecule, and three oxygen molecules. This food additive is typically added to flour during processing, especially when you're dealing with any kind of enriched or bleached flours. It's used as a preservative in order to ensure that the bread products manufactured will last longer on the shelves in the stores. But it's really not good for you at all. Potassium bromate is basically tumors in a powder. There's a laundry list of tumors that it can cause. It's been known to cause renal tumors, mesotheliomas, and thyroid tumors. This is due to the fact that potassium bromate is a complete carcinogen. What this means is that besides promoting cancer, it can actually initiate cancer cells. Potassium bromate even has mutagenic properties. Research has shown that it's 100% capable of producing chromosomal aberrations. What are those? <laughs> Gather around and I'll tell you, but you won't like the answer. Now there are five types of chromosomal aberrations that are possible. I'm gonna go over all five just to drive home the point that potassium bromate is horrible for you. The first type is deletion. Everybody knows that your DNA is made up of chromosomes. Two sets of 23 to be exact. This means 46 in total. Now imagine what would happen if all of a sudden one of the chromosomes just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, not good. The second type is a duplication. This is where an exact copy of your genetic material is made. This gives you extra genetic material. Also not good. The third type is a translocation. That's where one section of your chromosome is completely swapped with another section of the chromosome in another chain. <laughs> also very not good. Your genes are not supposed to do that. The fourth is an inversion. That's where part of your chromosome breaks off, flips around, and then reattaches upside down. Keep in mind that your chromosomes determine your genetic traits. You know, like how fast your cells replicate. If you don't know what cancer is, that's where specific cells have damaged chromosomes making them grow at an accelerated rate. Getting the picture yet? And the fifth is a ring formation. This is where part of your chromosome breaks off and forms a ring, which means that particular strand of DNA will be missing chromosomes to complete its structure, because they'll just be flowing off in a ring someplace. Any one of these five can cause some serious problems with your body, ranging from cancers to different syndromes. However, that's not even the worst of it for potassium bromate. Potassium bromate is actually nephrotoxic in human beings. What's that? That means it kills your kidneys. That's right, ingestion of potassium bromate over time will eventually shut your kidneys down completely. And you kind of need those. So why do they keep allowing people to use it? Because it's cheap. But many studies have been done and many countries around the world ban it. See, before 1992, they accepted that you could have 60 parts per million of potassium bromate and be safe. But then, more studies were done in 1992 that determined that potassium bromate is a genotoxic carcinogen. That's when a lot of countries decided that it was time to ban the substance completely. These countries include the European Union, China, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Canada, Australia, Brazil, Peru, Colombia. All of those countries have banned the use of potassium bromate when processing flowers. India and the United States are the only that still allow it. India only allows 50 parts per million, but the United States still allows 75 parts per million. But they still have to list it on the ingredients list. 
As if that helps when people don't know what it is. But now you do. And it's not like there's any alternatives that are healthier. In fact, ascorbic acid, which is just vitamin C, is a healthy alternative that they could be using. This is why it's best to avoid any kind of processed flours, especially if they're bleached or enriched. Whole grain bread still appear to be safe, since the flour really isn't processed. But just to be safe, make sure you check the ingredients list for potassium bromate. Really, the best option is to just cook bread for yourself. But if you are to do that, make sure you avoid processed flours. This information can be hard to digest sometimes. Just like losing weight on your own can be extremely difficult. It definitely helps to have someone to talk to. So if you're looking for a weight loss community to help keep you motivated and accountable, or you're just looking for someone to be there for you along your weight loss journey, please follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook group. Those links are at the bottom of the description. With all that said, stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next video.